Hello everybody. As you all know, today is 15 August, our 74th Independence Day. It is the day when we pay our tributes to our martyrs and our superheroes by arranging different programs in our schools and colleges. But due to the COVID-19 situation in our country, the Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare have issued a restriction for us to go to school. But how can we let the pandemic to spoil this day? So we the students are four of every medieval public school Bangla are going to celebrate this day virtually using technology in the best possible manner and wish you all happy Independence Day. At first we would like to discuss about the importance of Independence Day. The Independence Day in India is celebrated annually on 15th August. This day marks the end of British rule in 1947. democratic country in the world india got independence through the efforts of many great freedom fighters in india and obtained the political independence from british french and portuguese the date august 15 brings a sense of proscription to all indian people living in india or abroad india is a sovereign and socialist secular democratic republic so we are now a self governed and democratic country and a 14 rights for the adults we cannot but remember our indomitable freedom fighters drawn from all parts of this vast land must agree by unique diversity who underwent superhuman sacrifices our great freedom fighters struggled tirelessly and selflessly and shed their precious blood so that we belonging to different generation live a better life unfettered by the ignominy of imperialist domination and colonial exploitation all the citizen of this country need to celebrate the independence day to show our solidarity towards the nation it will also display the respect we have to the freedom fighters who gave their lives for independence it also inspires us to serve the country we should feel proud to be an indian and admire our fortune that we are sitting here peacefully for their great sacrifice we cannot forget the sacrifice of bhagat singh netaji subhash chandra bose khudiram bose mahatma gandhi lal bahadur shastri rani lakshmi bai chandra sekhar azad and many more these are the personalities because of whom we stand on the brink of social political and economical greatness some of these leaders choose the path of violence while some choose non violence but the ultimate aim of these was to drive out the britishers from the country and on 15th august 1947 the long awaited dream come true in our country many different religions are practiced the different religious groups have different points of view and cultures we should not try to achieve own selfish aim by using these differences which arise as hostility among different religions this is a threat to the unity of the nation by giving equal importance to the all religion our constitution promotes harmony among different religious groups this in turn strengthens the unity of our country so we should not quarrel with each other for the sake of our country let us ensure that we exercise our rights and proudly participate in our democracy so that india heads in the right direction the celebration of independence day is the same throughout the country and this is the occasion when we find whole country celebrating and rejoicing However, the real celebration is to pay tribute to those patriots who fought for the country and should recall the history. But it is unfortunate that we are attaching too much importance to our individual freedom rather than to the national independence. We used to hear about the awakening of masses by Gandhi ji and the activities of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. We the future citizens of India to have a promise to keep the inner spirit intact and we will work and sweat together for the great vision the vision of transforming India into a developed nation powered by economic strength technology and value system as advised by our former president 
Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Now, this is the time to pay respect to our real superheroes. We would like to thank you a million times. You all are true light souls and strength of our nation. You never show that you are tired despite working and living in such stressful environment and not being able to speak or to meet with your family. This is for you. We all are safe and secure. At this time when we are sitting here, you are standing at the boundaries guarding our country. We wish we were as strong and courageous like you. Apart from these heroes, there are many others who are the frontline warriors during this pandemic. We all extend our tribute to nation's corona warriors from healthcare professionals like doctors, nurses, paramedical staffs, policemen and sanitation workers for the selfless service to save us against COVID-19. They are fighting one of the toughest battles of this country. Thank you. India is a land of unity and diversity. Here people of different faiths and beliefs live together in peace and harmony. In our country, we find people belonging to different religions, professing a different language and varieties of face and dress. Now we will represent a few states with a traditional dress and few religions and professions too. We will pass our national flag and will show you how we, despite of different cultures and religions, live together with love and brotherhood. Jai Hind, Bharat Mata ki Jai, Vande Mataram, Jai.